What's up and welcome back. Today we're making a tension ring starting from scratch. We start off by connecting the two halves of a mold floss together and compacting it with delft clay. We smoothen out the surface and proceed to carve the funnel. Push the handle of the file straight in the middle. We take some scrap gold and melt it down. And what we are left with is some thick gold wire. We then cut the excess off and file down the rough ends. We can now start shaping the wire with the help of a square draw plate. We clamp it into a vise and start pulling the metal through. We use a metal hammer to flatten the edges, repeatedly turning the metal to keep it in a square shape. And every once in a while, we need it to keep it soft. And what we finish with is some square wire. We now kneel it again to make the shaping process easier. Using some ramp pliers, we begin to curve the metal. Now 
Now I've left a bit of a gap, partly because it became really hard to bend, and at the end I was going to make the gap there anyway, so I left as it was. We then sold it together. then use a metal hammer and mandrel to shape the ring. And hammer it flat. Now take the leftover scrap from earlier and melt it down into a nugget. then proceed to flatten it out. We then solder the flattened nugget to the ring. You'll see why soon. We can now start trimming the access, being sure to hold onto the scrap for later. Once trimmed, we start filing.
Once we have the general shape, we can cut a line straight down the middle of the raised section. We use a burr to cut out the housing for the stone. make any finishing touches. We now sand down all the edges. And then buff and polish the ring. final stage is to set the stone. You do this by pulling it up on a mandrel which opens the ring. Place the stone in the setting and hold it there whilst we take the ring off the mandrel. The ring clamps in on the stone ensuring a tight fit. And there you have it, starting from nothing we've made a gold tension ring. I hope you've enjoyed this build and if you have be sure to leave a like and if you aren't already then subscribe for more videos and I'll see you next time.